Happy Easter. I'm Kim Kircher, and as a registered dietitian, you can imagine how many times I hear, help me get my kids and my family excited to eat fruits and vegetables. Well, with the Easter holiday right around the corner, we have a fun idea for you and the kids to create an edible centerpiece. So today, we're going to show you how to make a fruit bunny. What you see in front of me is everything you need to prepare your bunny. We'll need a pineapple for the bunny body, and then the berries will serve as a tail, a nose, and the eyes. The cute little bananas will actually work as the bunny's legs, and then we've got some other ideas for presentation. So think about a bunny. We're going to use this as a garden patch theme, so pick up some romaine lettuce, spread them on your platter, and then surround where your bunny will be with other fruits. I've chosen to use kiwi and watermelon. If you're not crafty, no worries. Cookie cutters can be your best friend. And so we've used sliced watermelon and put them into egg shapes. And this bunny head will come in handy when we're creating our bunny later. So let's get started. So the first thing that we want to do is prepare the body for the bunny. And what we'll do with that is the pineapple. I've already started us out. We need to cut off the bottom and the top. And you can see that will leave us a nice clean yellow top to work with. The next thing that we'll need to do is remove the sides of the pineapple. And it's actually easier than you think. So here's how you do that. You simply slice down the sides and remove that outer skin. And you do this until your whole pineapple is complete. There you have it. Next what we'll need to do is make a slice that we can use to create the bunny's head. This will also create a nice even bottom so the bunny sits nicely on the bunny patch. When you're preparing your pineapple slice, you want to think about that cookie cutter and make it so that cookie cutter will slice nicely to create that head later. So here's your bunny body. We're going to lay that aside. Then we'll take our bunny cookie cutter and simply put it on the slice, press down, and you are ready to make your bunny. Now, if your cookie cutter doesn't fit exactly, don't worry. We can clean that up with a knife a little bit later. But you can see, in one pass, we have our cute little bunny head. So, how are we going to attach that bunny head to the body? We're actually going to use toothpicks. So this is something that you're going to want to think about to make sure that it's secured nicely into place. So we'll easily put a few toothpicks, and it will probably take more than one, and you can experiment to see how many you actually need. And I would suggest if the kids are helping you with this, this is a part that you want to do with them. And you can see we have our bunny. Now that we have our bunny, it's time to move the bunny to the bunny patch. Carefully pick your bunny up and transfer it to the center of your platter. And you can see how cute that looks. Then we can start adding the other parts of the body. The baby banana for those front legs. And then let me show you how easy it is to create the face for the bunny. So to finish the face for the bunny, you'll need three toothpicks for the eyes and the nose. Carefully put your toothpicks on the bunny where you want those eyes to appear, being sure to leave just enough toothpick so that berry is secure. We're going to use blueberries for our eyes and wait till you see how cute this looks. Your kids are going to love this. And remember, they can help too. Now for our nose, of course a bunny's nose is pink, so we're going to use a raspberry. Remember to leave just enough space so your nose and your eyes are perfectly spaced. And remember too, that toothpick needs to stick out so that raspberry stays in place. When you're done with that, we need to think of the tail. Today, for the fruit bunny theme, we're going to use a berry. So again, we're going to carefully stick a toothpick, leaving enough to secure the berry. Choose a nice round berry for that tail and secure it to the back of the bunny. If you wish, you can use extra toothpicks to create whiskers. And if you want to have a fluffy cottontail look, there's nothing wrong with using one marshmallow in place of that berry. Now that your Easter bunny is complete, the rest is just pure fun. You can have the kids help you decorate the plate to create a wonderful presentation for your guests. It'll be the talk of the party. So have a happy Easter and try this one at home this year.